his body in the cellar. To find out who killed her? To be sure she was murdered before we start pointing fingers. What is it? Got you! <laughs> I'll get you back. You can. Stop monkeying around. Come with me. I'll come inside in a bit. Don't go. Can I just have a few It's not a request, girl. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What's happening to me? David? Is everything all right? We should make haste. house is particularly chatty. Not even when I have an actual question for them.
This dumbwaiter is huge. It is. It goes all the way to the second floor, but judging by the spiders, it's not used very often nowadays. The spiders? Oh, don't ask. Rory's not one for cleaning up after himself. We'll have the key. Unless we can find another way in. If you'd just like to wait out here, sir. I need to speak with Eddie. The young master and her ladyship are otherwise detained. May I remind you, this is my house? May I remind you that it is not yours yet. Fair enough. There's no doubt about his loyalty, nor with whom it lies. Uh, Mr. McKinnon, uh, Angus, may I have the key to the cellar? You may not, sir. As Mr. Harrison said, it will remain locked until the police arrive. That's a fair point. I'm just concerned that some of the game in the cellar may have been caught illegally. Poached by young Eddie there. Well... I'd be happy to get rid of the evidence. The owners of the land may take legal action over Eddie's trespassing. Then it's fortunate we have Master Andrew here. I can't imagine that the owners of the neighboring estate would be best pleased. You think the House Gordon cares what they think? For Eddie to be found poaching on another family's estate? could prove embarrassing. You're barely part of this family, but you have a point. I'm the new owner of the estate. 
I worry what people will say about it. About the family. I think the dead maid will have them chatting already. I do, and I don't think Lady Margaret would take kindly to any such embarrassment. Uh, upon reflection, removing the evidence may be the best course of action. Here you are, sir. I have to thank you again for coming to my aid in there. I'm glad I found you in time. Thankfully, Mr. Harrison had made an educated guess as to your whereabouts.
Oh, stunning. How curious. Come and look at this. Look, they form a clear circle. This can't be a fluke. Well, looks like one of the stones is missing. A heavy enough stone to weigh yourself down with. Something's carved into each one. I've never seen a rose like this before. I have. The gardener, Rory. He brought some down from the glass house. That's an unusual looking rose. I noticed one lying by the side of the loch. Aye, that's been me. A flower for the flower of Skahandu, Cecilia. My aunt? They're for her? I grew them for her. She loved the roses, did Cecilia. No, the red ones, though. Made her think of blood, ye kin? Forgive me, but wouldn't it be more fitting to place them on her grave? Why, she's no there, is she, laddie? That's not where she rests. And I don't much stand by your modern god. Rory, what happened to her? What happened to Cecilia? I'm not in the mood to open old wounds, laddie. There are some strange markings carved into the stones on the shore. Runes, aye. I'm old-fashioned, I suppose. Still hold to the old ways. Hmm. Superstitions don't gain validity just by being believed in for a long time. I'd watch that. Your precious science doesn't have all the answers, lassie. May I have some of the roses, Rory? I'd like to place them on Cecilia's grave. What she to you? You didn't ken her. No, I didn't. But she's family. And besides, Father always spoke fondly of her. He would even smile as he talked about playing in the gardens with her as a child. He did, did he? Aye, well, that's good to kin. I should have some left in the glass house. I'll speak to you later, Rory. Aye, I'm sure you will, laddie. Sorry, lassie, but you can't go in. It's for family only. Mm. Just hold on a moment. No, it's okay. I quite understand. You go ahead, and I'll wait here for you. If I must. Aye, you must. I know, it doesn't look like I have green fingers.
These are... dead as dodos. Hard to raise anything beautiful here, ever since Cecilia's gone. Looking to break some more locks, laddie. Are these... I... Cecilia's roses. They're beautiful. I like to think so. But they seem to be the only thing that grows here. Can you tell me about Cecilia? What was she like? She was a lovely lassie, but uh, she had more than her share of troubles. Grandfather Edward. You can well enough, son. You said she wasn't in her grave. Aye, that I did, that I did. Did she drown? She did. Killed herself. Her body was never found. Now all I have of her is my memories. And they are not what they were. And... this. That is exquisite. Cecilia made this. She made it, I... for me. Girl must have cut her fingers a hundred times doing it. On the thorns, you can. You are unworthy of the name, Gordon! Get away from her, you coward! <sighs> Maybe once I found out what really happened. Sorry, last. Just. No, it. I. I know, it doesn't look... Look into... These are... Dead as... Dead. Hard to... Are these... I... The be... I like... But they Can you tell me? She was a... Grandfather. Yeah. You said she... 
Ah. Did she? She did. That is a shame. You are unworthy. Get That's... You are unworthy of the name, Gordon! Get away from her, you coward! <sighs> Ah! <laughs> 
That's... That's... What just happened? I could ask you the same thing. You started to talk to yourself. And then you were throwing your arms about like you were fighting something. I couldn't see what. You started bawling and the lassie came in to see what was going on. She tried to settle you, but you just went for her. I saw an old lady. She wore a long, flowing dress. Her, her voice was strong. Determined. Sounds like Rosemary. She was Lady Margaret's mother. Was Cecilia not able to have children? Did that anger Grandfather Edward? 
Maybe you can see well enough too, son. Maybe you can. It wasn't her. It was her husband. He was the bother. Couldn't uh, <clears throat> you can? I think so, yes. I well, uh, Edward blamed Cecilia for it, for picking the wrong man for her mate. You'll be fine, laddie. You just need some fresh air. This place can get to you. I need to know if there's proof to what I saw. The crack is right there. Edward was furious. Seems like him and great-grandmother Rose didn't see eye to eye. The secateurs should be... Here they are. How could I know? This seems awfully accurate for a forgotten memory. Trust your instincts, laddie. David, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. I think this place is starting to get to me. I feel like the madness that runs through this family, through these walls, is, is starting to seep into me too. I can help you, but you need to open up. You need to start talking to me. Uh, you would not believe me if I told you. Stubborn. Just like your father. I think that Edward may be responsible for the death of my Aunt Cecilia. Not directly. She drowned herself in the loch. I think that Edward drove her to it. Old families usually have a skeleton or two in the cupboard. Yes, but my family has a graveyard full. Whatever secret this family is hiding... It's costing lives. Cecilia, the maid. My father. God knows how many more over the years.
Good thing I found that map. He would have never given up the Seleki otherwise. They seem to be a house full of carnivores. What a horrific way to die. What a horrific way to die. Her neck's been broken, and with some considerable force, it seems. Her necklace looks like gold, albeit a plain design. And it's missing any form of pendant. Still, well beyond a maid's salary. It... Oh, where's Your the sudden draft is here, from? my little door. Little door? Not exactly the usual way to address the staff. The missing pendant. He threw it into the blood-filled basin. Mr. Gordon? Speak to me, please. No clothes. He ripped the seam open. We're all here, sir. All down in the dark. Where something's coming. The attic, sir. She's in the attic. What just happened? You look like you were in some kind of trance. Perhaps the lack of sleep is affecting me. Or the visions that you think me insane if I describe them to you. I know you're holding out on me. I am on your side, remember? I thought I'd proven that to you already. Perhaps I'm misjudging her. Your father wouldn't speak to me either. Please, let me help you. Or not. I'm not a patient. I'm not a madman. Ugh, that's horrible. You're not the one with your hand in it. French. I don't speak French. I do. It says for Clara, forever yours. Who's Clara? <laughs> I don't know. Yet another relative, perhaps? We should ask someone who's been around here for longer. How did you know it was there? The pendant, I mean. If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. A hunch! Eddie gave this to her. We should ask him to his face just what his relationship was with her. This isn't another ghost story, is it? Look, you wouldn't understand. I can't... What I do understand is that we cannot accuse a man of murder without proof. 
The scene really did rip when she tried to get away from him. The maid could never have afforded this. This is a trinket of the rich, not a servant. The maid could never have afforded this. This is a trinket of the rich, not a servant. If Eddie really gave her that pendant, he might be her killer, and I might not be losing my mind. There's no doubt about his loyalty, nor with whom it lies. Uh, Mr. McKinnon, who is Clara? The Lady Clara, young Eddie's late mother. A box with some of her belongings are kept in the library, as Master Eddie feels himself more a Gordon than a Mallory.
belongings of Eddie's mother. Recognize that? The necklace. Is that... A young Eddie and his mother Clara. I regret to inform you that your husband, Corporal Victor Mallory, number 874511, was killed in action with the enemy on the day of the 14th of September in Ypres. Your husband was involved in an advance against enemy lines. While he and his fellow soldiers fell, the action was successful, and you can take comfort in knowing his sacrifice saved many lives. It was not possible to get his remains away, and he was buried in a soldier's grave. Please accept the condolences of all the company. Yours, Captain Arthur Jones, 4th Army. Thank you for your last letter. My heart soars with every word of yours I read. I touch the ink and imagine your fingers are just inches from mine, that we can almost touch, that I can almost feel the warmth of your skin once more. Young Edward grows more like his father each day. You'd be amazed how he shares your looks. I long for the day that this terrible war is ended and you return home to us so we can be a family once more. I shall write to you again soon. Know that until then you are always in our hearts. Your loving wife, Clara. The date. She was writing this when the death notice arrived. Oh, the poor woman. Eddie, I need to ask you about the maid. About Elsa. You didn't know her! I know that you and her were... That is to say, I know you had feelings for her. What? That's poppycock! You're as deranged as your father was! David, really? You go too far with this behaviour. The police will be here soon. Would you not prefer to clear this up before they get here in case they link Eddie with the crime? Now look here, young lady. How dare you speak? That's enough. Eddie. You gave her this. It was your mother's. Uh, I did. It was. Eddie! I was just trying to cheer her up. She has nothing, and I had no need of it. You know she sends... You know she sent most of her money home to her grandmother. Her clothing was ripped, as if someone was trying to force themselves upon her. I would never have hurt her. My little doe. Strange thing to call the help. Uh, how? It was just... just harmless fun, that's all. You're a worthless liar. You think she thought being pressed against a dead animal was harmless fun? How do you know? It's true. Elsa and I... I would never have laid a finger on her. We were in love. I helped her with everything. 
even with her chores. Uh, uh, Rose and... That's quite enough. Eddie, you are obviously upset. And you are not helping, David. Angus, will you please take the young master upstairs? As you say, ma'am. I think you have caused quite enough disruption here. We shall settle this heritage dilemma first thing tomorrow. I don't think so. I have more questions now than ever about my father, the maid, this whole damn house. Have a care, David. Need I remind you of your father's temper? I would never. Given the current mental state of Master Eddie, who should be a part of the heritage considerations, any discussion on the topic would be futile at this point. Would you not agree? <sighs> Thank you, Leah. Maybe it's a good thing you're here after all. Impudent brats! What's going on? Did you notice when Margaret got angry? When Eddie mentioned chores involving Rose. What does that mean? It can only have something to do with Lady Rosemary and Aunt Cecilia. And whatever the maid was doing in the attic. The attic? Mm, I saw the maid coming down the stairs with a tray. But there's nothing up there but an empty room. Or so I thought. Interesting. What is it, David? I have to see. David, wait! You have to start confiding in me, David. What are you seeing? I can see echoes. Memories of those who lived here. I see my father as a young boy. He's trying to communicate with me. Perhaps you visited here as a child. Maybe you're remembering stories your father told you of this place when you were young. You see? I said you wouldn't believe me. If I'm only remembering things, how would I have known where to find a pendant? How could I have known he tried to force himself on her? Unless you think I killed her. I don't think you killed anyone, David. And you're right. I can't explain it. So? So, we focus on the facts as we know them. Go on. You saw the maid's body. Her neck was broken. That was the work of a human, not a ghost, yes? I, I suppose so, yes. Lady Margaret knows more than she's saying, that's for sure. Godspeed getting anything out of that old hag. No, I know. But Eddie might be an easier option. Yes. Yes, we need to find him. And make sure Margaret isn't there to interrupt. I believe she's already gone to bed, but I'll check. You go find Eddie. <laughs> 